Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on dilations. Our vocabulary startup deals with dilation and filling out this graphic organizer. Now, things that are like a dilation include enlargement, reduction, because you could also get smaller, and also we use these with scale drawings. Characteristics, well, same size and shape as original, maybe. And things I've already learned, well, we've already learned ratio, scale factors, and of course, graphing. Our real-world link is on photography. Let's insert a photo of her dog on a blog. The current size of the photo is 480 pixels by 640 pixels. Suppose she wants to reduce the photo to 120 by 160. Compare and contrast. Well, basically, if you were to take 480 divided by 4 and 640 divided by 4, you would get 120 and 160. So the dimensions of the original photo are four times the dimensions of the new. And what is the scale factor from original to reduction? Well, we're going to say that's one-fourth as 480 times 1 fourth gets you the 120, and 640 times the 1 fourth gets you to 160. So now with dilations, a dilation with a scale factor of k will be an enlargement, a reduction, or the same. Now if k is greater than 1, it's an enlargement. If k is between 0 and 1, it's a reduction. And if it is just 1, it's the same. And basically what we're going to do is take that k, whatever it is, and multiply it by our x and our y. So the pre-image and the image are the same shape, but not necessarily the same size, since the figure is enlarged or reduced by a scale factor. So with our dilations, we'll either be enlarging, reducing, or keeping the same size. So a triangle has vertices 0, 0, 8, 0, and 3, negative 2. Find the coordinates of the triangle after our dilation with a scale factor of 4. And as you can see here, we take our x, y, and we multiply all the x's and the y's by 4. Well, 0, 0 stays 0, 0, 8, 0 becomes 32, 0, and 3, negative 2 becomes 12, negative 8. Now our turn. A figure has vertices w at negative 2, 4, x at 1, 4, and y at negative 3, negative 1. And also z, don't forget z, at 3, negative 1. Find the coordinates of the figure after dilation with a scale factor of 2. Well, let's list out our points. w was negative 2, 4. x was 1, 4. y, negative 3, negative 1. And z is 3, negative 1. And what we're going to do with each of these now, we have a scale factor of 2. So we're going to take each of our x's and multiply that by 2. We're also going to take each of our y's and multiply those by 2. And so our new image, w, is going to be negative 4, 8. x prime is going to be 2, 8. y prime is going to be negative 6, negative 2. And z prime is going to be 6, negative 2. A figure has vertices 3, 8, 10, 6, 8, 2. 
graph the figure and the image of the figure after a dilation with a scale factor of one half. Well, one half, that's between zero and one, so we are reducing our image. And so we multiply our x's and our y's by one half, and you can see the result of that. And there you go. It goes from this image and cuts it in half to that image. A figure has vertices negative 1, 1 for f. g is 1, 1. h is 2, negative 1. And i is negative 1, negative 1. Graph the figure and the image of the figure after dilation with a scale factor of 3. Let's graph the original first. Negative 1, 1 is here for f. G is at 1, 1. H is at 2, negative 1. And I is at negative 1, negative 1. And so as I graph this figure, looks like and is a trapezoid. We're going to now take the 3 and multiply our x's and our y's by 3. So negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. 1 times 3 is 3. For g prime, 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 3 is 3. For h prime, 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. For i, whoops, try that again. For i prime, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. And so now as we graph this figure, negative 3, 3, a new f, f prime, G is at 3, 3. H is at 6. 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 3. And I prime is at negative 3, negative 3. And now we can draw this. And since we multiplied by a number bigger than 1, we should expect an enlargement. And that's exactly what we have. We multiply by a factor of 3, and so we have something that's 3 times bigger. Through a microscope, the image of a grain of sand with a 25 hundredths millimeter diameter appears to be a diameter of 11 and 25 hundredths millimeters. What is the scale factor of the dilation? Well, all you're going to do here is have your diameter of the dilation divided by your diameter of your original, and that's what you can see here. And that equaled 45, so it has a scale factor of 45. In our question, Lucas wants to enlarge a 3 by 5 photo to a 7 and a half by a 12 and a half inch photo. What is the scale factor of the dilation? So let's start with the 7 and a half and the 3. We're going to write the, di the dilation first, 7 and 1 half, and divide it by 3. 7 and a half divided by 3. is 2.5 or 2.5, and, and we can also check that here with the 12.5 and, and the 5. The 12.5, the new one, over the original 5, and sure enough, 12.5 divided by 5 is also 2.5, and we should expect the same thing. So the scale factor is 2 and 5 tenths. So the key for scale factor, it's going to be the dilation over the original. That is it for this lesson on dilations. Good luck.